Is the blue your favorite color? Hanging out like in the it. park. A favorite pastime of San Diego mom Sandy Algra and her son Willem. But it was at a park just like this where the three-year-old made a troublesome discovery. He said, hey mama, what's this? And I turn and he's holding a bent bloody drug needle. It happened last year at Liberty Station. Willem had to be taken to Rady Children's Hospital and required months of HIV and hepatitis testing. Taking a toddler for an HIV test as a result of a public health hazard in a city park is unthinkable. Fortunately, he's okay. Although Sandy can't say the same about the city's response to the issue. After finding another needle in Pacific Beach, she was told to report it using the city's Get It Done app, but heard no response. It wasn't until several weeks, meetings, and emails later that she was told Parks and Recreation, the department that handles these cases, is not even a part of the city's app. It's unthinkable that they sat there for weeks, weeks, and no one cleans them up. I am beyond mad. Uh, the only thing I can use to describe it is rage. I don't understand why the city can't take responsibility for a public health hazard. News 8 reached out to the city and received a lengthy response, saying in part, the Parks and Recreation Department does receive a high volume of requests via the Get It Done app, which are referred out to the department by email and the city is hoping to fully integrate the department into the app as soon as possible. I want to know why the city tells residents to use the Get It Done app when it's not fully developed. Sandy is encouraging the city to establish a better process to take up issues that are a matter of public health and child safety. It's dangerous and then it's irresponsible to not have a way to have it reported easily and then to have it cleaned up quickly.